Hey guys, welcome back and today we're here at Jeep in the 2021 Jeep Compass. And what we're going to explain to you today is the infotainment system right here. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this. But before that, if you haven't watched our video on the instrument cluster, do check that out. Let's get what straight into this. What you need to do is switch it on. So you have a nice Jeep logo in front since 1941. So now getting straight to the screen right in front of us, you have a huge tablet like display over here. Uh, first it says that this is welcome driver one. So you can basically set different profiles over here. We'll explain to you step by step on this. So this is basically your home menu. So what you can see is your FM. You have your phone connectivity right here on this side. So these two on the top are your ventilated seats. So which, which we'll explain to you when we reach there. So this is basically how the display and the layout is. So what we'll do is we'll go here. So FM. So what we can do is we can change this into different. So if you want Bluetooth, we have a Bluetooth menu, your display here or the radio in AM or the USB. So whatever you're using, basically we get displayed right here. So on this side, you have your phone. So basically when you connect your phone to Bluetooth, all your contacts and stuff will get uh, displayed right here. You can see some stuff over here. So what we'll do is we'll connect a phone to Bluetooth. So I have a Android phone with me right here. And let's connect this phone to Bluetooth now. Let's go to add a device. Turn on my Bluetooth on my phone right here. Search for Bluetooth devices. So my phone as well is searching for a Bluetooth device here. So it shows 7X. Let's connect that to 7X. It says pairing in pro progress. So there's a pin. I say pair. I say yes. And Bluetooth successfully connected. So you can add it as your favorite, but right now I won't. Bluetooth successfully paired device support to. Okay, fine. So let's go back to home. So it's downloading the phone book. So let's go back to home. So as you see here, this is loading. So we'll come back when this entire loading is done. So basically I have a lot of context as I said, and uh, it'll take time to load that as well. It shows me my battery as well on my phone on the top over here, which is really great. And as I said about driver profiles, this is what driver profiles is about. So what you can do is you can add multiple drivers and you can configure them. So if this is driver profile one, you can edit the profile. Okay, so the, my phone book has been downloaded, it says. Let's cancel, the, cancel this for now. This is edit profile. So I can change the name. I can change the, the basically the display, so the avatar. So if I want to change it into something else, I can have a different profile view. Let's just change it to trail rated, four and four, or probably Jeep. Okay, let's leave it to this one right now. Then you have your uh, welcome pop-up preferences. So basically the pop-up that comes over there. Then you have more settings wherein you can customize your language, display and stuff, which we'll explain to you later. So this is just um, giving you a brief so you can cust you can you know configure different things on different drivers profiles right here. You can add multiple drivers over here by saying add new. Then let's go back to the main menu. And as you can see, my uh, contacts have come over here. I can uh, edit this. I can have uh, other things over here as well i can have i can remove the, the widget over there or i can add another widget as well so i can do that as well from here then let's go to the second screen right here this is basically the climatronic so the ac so now i switch it on from here and as you can see i can literally change the blower speed from my screen right here or I can even switch it off or keep it on auto. Now this being a Clamtronic AC, I can adjust the driver's temperature from here as well as the passenger from this side. So two different ones for separate. Um, then what I have is I can even select it to, to which vent or which uh, the way I want the air to flow. So I can select different ways right here on the screen itself. 
and if I want to sync both the left and the right, so basically the driver and the passenger, I have a sync button as well. So both the temperatures will increase and decrease accordingly. So that's really nice. So then let us go to seats. Now the seats in the Jeep Compass are ventilated. So I can literally like control the seat temperature as well. So what you need to do is you have the right. So the driver's one is on this side and the passenger on this side. So we select it. I can change my temperature. So both have ventilated seats. So I can change my seat temperature as well over here, which is really great and really helpful. Then let's go back to the front. Uh, then you have your rear defogger, front defogger that can be controlled from the screen right here. There are also physical buttons at the bottom, but this is what you can do on the screen. Then let's go to the next menu that is the media. So right now as my phone is connected, this is your FM basically right here. So as my phone is connected to Bluetooth, I also have my phone right here. So now let's um, show you how to change your radio station. So as you can see, this is 91.9. .9. So let us go to the, okay, let's go to say FM, is on AM? Okay, let's say we want to change this one now. You want to change it. You have an option wherein you can press this and it will auto search for you a station like right now, or if you want to manually select it, there's something called as tune, wherein you can literally type it out. So I want to have 91.9 and go. As you can see, the radio station has been set. Now, if you want to save it, what you need to do is you need to hold to save the station. So you need to hold on whichever is empty. And there, as you can see, it has been successfully set. Then uh, what you have is your source. So source is basically, as I said, this is FM, your Bluetooth, USB and radio AM. So if I go to Bluetooth, I have my option of playing something from my phone. So let's just quickly pay, play something and show you how the audio is. So let's search for a song. Let's search for one song. I want to search on song on YouTube itself. And let's just play it. Let's play the song. I increase the volume. So yeah, let's switch it off before we get a copyright strike for the song as well. So this is basically your media. So you can play whatever song you want over here. And uh, then you connect your phone to, if you have a USB, you can connect a USB as well over here at the bottom and you can play a USB as well. Uh, this is basically if you have, um, put an SD card inside, you can basically browse through the playlist to the folders that are on your phone as well as the USB. And then in audio is basically you can your audio settings. So your balance fader, your equalizer, you can, you know, increase, decrease it by doing this speed adjusted volume. So basically you can, as soon as you increase your speed, the volume will automatically increase or decrease. You can set it into three levels or you want it off. You can do that as well. Surround sound, you can switch this on or off. So you have loads of settings that you can control to make the audio quality best preferred to your mood preferences. That's great. Then let's head to the next menu, which is right here. This is basically my phone. So as I said, this is connected to my phone right now. So it will be shown over here. Then let us go to vehicle. So here is basically all the settings of the, the vehicle right now. So I also have a 360 degree camera. So if I want to view that, I either put my gear selector into reverse or I select, see it like this. And what I can do here is I can view different views. So right now it's showing me the rear. I want a wider view. I can do that as well. I want the front view. I can see that as well. I want a wide front, not so wide view. I can do that as well. And this is basically the rear view again. So let's exit from this. And this is basically my 360 degree view over here, which is really great and helps well in parking as well. Let's go back. This is if you only want your rear camera to be on. And if you want to switch off the screen, you can do it here. Or there's a button right here at the bottom as well. 
so now let's go to settings so this is basically the profiles so as you said profile you can select your preferences as well so first is language you can select it into multiple different languages you have loads of options over here so right now it's in english and then you have your display mode so you have an auto or manual so you can select it into auto or manual whichever way you want it then you have your display brightness when your headlights are on and off so basically when your headlamps are on what will happen is the the display on the screen will reduce so that is basically it, it knows that you are you, it's it's night and it has to reduce so when your headlamps are on the brightness on the screen automatically reduces which is great then you have your dif display brightness so you can basically reduce your display or increase your display accordingly then you have themes so you have different options you have a default one and you have a vk default one so you have another theme as well so you can select there are two options of themes that you have but i prefer the first one actually then you have units so units are basically your uh, distance you can have it in kilometers or miles you have fuel consumption so you can have it in kilometers per liter or you can have it uh, a liter per 100 kilometers or miles per gallon etc depending so then we have your tire pressure so you can have it into psi bar and stuff like that depending on your preference then you have a temperature that can be had into degrees celsius or fahrenheit whichever you prefer then let's go back after units you have your touch beep so you can have it off or on depending then uh, you have some other options your phone so you can have your phone pop-ups come on the cluster if you require so if any messages come will get displayed there time format can be 12 hours or 24 hours pm am you can set your timing as well radio display off uh, you can have it, you can delay it by 20 minutes or in zero minutes audio let's go to audio so audio is basically your equalizer bass and stuff like that which i already explained to you then let's go to the lower one you have your uh, app pop-ups as well your favorites popping up or uh, stuff like that miss call messages you can have it displayed or not and then you can reset the whole thing next let's go to yeah so this is pretty much all the things that are over here so you can either go to it by this or you can do it uh, let's let's go to safety driving so what this is is basically you have your park sensors you have only sound or you want sound in this place so basically that's your cameras and then your rear parking sensor volume you can have it on low high or mid whichever you prefer then let's go to clock so here you can adjust your time so basically what i just told you 12 hours or 24 hour clock whichever you want then you have a phone in bluetooth so you can have your device manager which you can connect your phone as i said i showed you how to connect your phone so this is basically your phone you can connect your phone to bluetooth and stuff like that you can have your do not disturb or you have a pop-up displayed on the cluster that you can select it or deselect it as well then let's go to camera camera is basically a surround view so you have guidelines as well for reversing so you can switch it on and off depending it's best to keep it on mirrors and wipers is basically you can have your uh, mirrors side mirrors to auto fold as well as rain sensing wipers you can switch it on and off it's best to leave it on then you have lights so lights is basically your interior ambient lighting you can change the brightness and stuff from here if you want let's keep it on seven right now headlight sensitivity so basically when it becomes dark you it'll automatically come on so you can change the sensitivity as well right now it's on three so it's the highest setting headlight off uh, delay so basically you can set, set that as well so when you so you can set that to different seconds so it's right now on zero so when you lock the car you can have the lights off or uh, leave it on so when you leave the car you can lock the car and it remain on for 30 seconds 60 seconds or 90 seconds depending then greeting light is basically when you come to your car you unlock the car you have the lights come on as well which is another good thing you have cornering functions you can switch it on and off and um, then you have brakes brakes is your auto parking brake you can switch it on or off so basically this has auto parking so when you automatically park you can it will auto brake as well for you which is a really good thing then you have doors and locks so you have all auto door locks for all you have auto door locks on exit on exit as well you can do that you have um, sound horn so you can switch on the sound horn if you want you have it on the first press or second press or you can switch it off if you don't want the sound 
then you have um, your uh, other stuff as well that you can control with your key so you have your first press of the key to open all the doors or only the driver doors you can select that all is better so that everyone can get inside when you unlock the door then let's go down you have a key option so headlight off delay basically the same thing you can sit, keep it on 30 right now i kept it on 30 and your radio off on delay but it's on zero you can keep it on 20 minutes as well audio you have your balance fader the same thing right here and notification so this is basically your app so now this one has an wireless android auto and apple carplay which is really great okay before that let's go back let's go to this menu where it apps so you have wireless android auto and apple carplay so let's just connect it to that you select the wireless apple carplay you have to basically connect your phone to bluetooth and then your display of the apple carplay will be displayed right here so i will show you how it is once it is displayed so three two one start so here we have the wireless apple carplay as well right here so you have your phone you have your maps you can use over here you have a lot of loads of stuff you can have your whatsapp messages as well read to you so this is a really handy feature because if you don't carry a wire with you this is the best way you can wirelessly connect your phone to apple carplay and according to me it's a really great feature and uh, you have your maps as well over here so this is pretty much what is there on the infotainment system and with that guys we wrap up today's video hope you enjoyed the informative in-depth video that we did on the infotainment system of the jeep compass now if you haven't watched our previous videos our previous tutorial videos on other cars as well like the audi a4 the q2 the toyota glanza urban cruiser etc do check those out as well and we have also done another video on the digital instrument cluster which is here so do check that out as well with that guys i see you next video